The Castile is now quiet, but it cannot be described in the terms used by the new government. The situation is, they say, now entirely back to normal. Tanks still guard the main junctions in the capital and most of the major roads from the seaport. The tank crews look relaxed. They, like their military and civilian commanders, appear confident that the coup is now complete. No one talks of a UN intervention. There is, in fact, very little evidence of the 2,500 UN troops stationed here, except, that is, for the occasional blue flag on a jeep or a lorry and a single soldier or two on less sophisticated transport. No one is taking the threat of a Turkish invasion very seriously either, at least not yet. Soldiers of the National Guard still surround the centers of the deposed government. We were ordered away from the gates of the president's house, but no one seemed worried as we stood outside the archbishop's palace, holed by tank shells, the archbishop's bust untouched. But the worst damage was at Kiko Monastery, where Archbishop Macarius hit for three hours before being taken to Pathos. We were not allowed inside, but the now very casual soldiers who did so much of the damage told me it was completely gutted. It is still not easy to drive around the capital. There are roadblocks every 600 yards or so. pro macaria supporters, still armed, and many thought to be carrying high explosives, are known to be holed up inside the city walls. The curfew, which starts at four in the afternoon and ends at six in the morning, is still rigorously enforced. Orders to shoot curfew violators on site still stand. But today, there were certainly more people out on the road. The announcement last night that the airport would reopen this morning to civilian traffic has done a lot to relax people. Two jets left before midday. At midday, the newly appointed president of a self-appointed government gave his first press conference. He spoke to the world press in Greek, but he later agreed to talk to me in English. Mr. President, uh, is, uh, is your coup complete now? Our revolution against the dictatorship of the ex-president is finished. We are... Uh, Do you think it will be accepted, this revolution, and your success in it by, by the people of Cyprus? It's accepted by the people, and the people is happy because it's free now. But did they have any choice in accepting you as president? They asked it, and we did our best to do the revolution for them to get rid of the dictatorship of the ex-president. The president has accused you and the Ioka B people of being in direct contact with the Greek government, that the Greek government, in fact, planned this revolution. I planned the revolution personally with the Cypriot officers and armed boys of the Cyprus army, of course, to overthrow him and his... You call it a dictatorship? Dictatorship uh, regime. This is not, the way, we, this is not the way we would have described it, Mr. Sampson. And it is personal. It was a personal regime. What guarantees can you give the Turkish community here, Mr. Sampson? My honor and my past, which was a life of honor. You, are, you probably realize that your name in England is, is not, has not always been well respected because of your history with the British Army. I fought for the, con for the freedom of my country, as the British did during the Second World War against their opponents. And I fought because I was believing in the ideas of freedom. And I am not the first man who was a leading figure for freedom, the struggle of freedom, who became a leader of the country. Are you worried by an invasion from Turkey? No, I'm not worried. Do you anticipate it? Do you expect your presidency to be accepted by the United Nations? Do you think your delegation will be well received at the United Nations? Um, they are, are, at the moment, represent what is still an illegal government. No, we are a legal government because we... How to say... Because we are accepted by all the people of Cyprus, and the ex-president has not a meter of land uh, under his uh, occupation. Sanson, I know you're, you're very tired, but can I just ask you this question? You 
say you have been accepted by the people of Cyprus, yes. and yet you took power with the aid of tanks, and you I was to... I was elected, and the most and the, some people of my government were elected as members of the House of Representatives. You, you were elected by your own personal followers, but not by the people of Cyprus. By the people of Cyprus, we are elected. But and we haven't had elections yet, have you? We'll have elections in a year, and we'll show to the uh, international world opinion that the people of Cyprus wants us to be can you, give, can you give the outside world any guarantee that in one year's time there will be free elections in Cyprus and people will be free to choose their own of president? Of course, because we have members of the House in the government and uh, we didn't dismiss the House of Representatives. Would you allow and President Makarios to come back here? I told you that he left the people of Cyprus, he betrayed the people, his follower, and he gone away. I think he was afraid for his life. A leader who fights for his people, he dies for his people. But he is not such a man, because he never stood in a field of battle. Only other people were fighting for him, like yourself. And I fought for the country, and he betrayed this country. We are trying with the legal way, and you. Sh you see, you saw with your eyes the point is the how, how the regime, personal regime of Magarios was trying to destroy everybody who was against him by torturing people. How you was expecting to send him away when opponents of him were beaten, beaten to death before? Was the Greek government the architect of this revolution, Mr. Sampson? Be sure, and I guarantee you, Greek government didn't have any idea of the revolution of the Cyprus army and Cyprus people.